What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of My Ultimate Team. Yes, welcome back, it's been a while. Um, I do apologise that I haven't had any Ultimate Team videos in a while, um, or episodes of this series anyway. The reason being is quite simple, as you can see, I am now on the PS4. Um, if you haven't been watching my career mode videos, um, I've upgraded from the PS3 to the PS4, like I said I do in the last couple episodes, and um, yeah, I just quite frankly was too busy getting career mode footage to worry about this series, and um, yeah, I was just too busy with that, too preoccupied with the offline stuff but um this series was going to come back it was always going to come back but i'm just uh i'm just trying to say sorry that it's been a while i was hoping to do it straight um as soon as the career mode videos went up but uh sadly i just didn't have the time but um yes welcome back to the series we're on episode number 27 now and uh, we're starting today's episode off by building a new side now the reason being is because in the last episode you would have seen me sell my league one side uh, we decided to sell all the players the only player that didn't sell was cavani and he's the highest rated player and um it's it's so frustrating, like we picked him up for 15k and it seems like you can barely get half of that now, it's ridiculous how his value has just plummeted, you know, Cavani for me should be going for like 30, 40k minimum, he's going for like... Uh, 10k is ridiculous, but um, anyway, we are building a new side, and um, I looked at loads and loads of the comments on the last episode, I asked you guys, if you can remember this far back, I asked you guys to build me some squads, and uh, there was some good Bundesliga ones, some good Liga BBVA ones, but um, I saw a few Premiership ones I liked, and I uh, thought that could be quite decent, and uh, I decided to go down the Premier League route, now I know that people are going to be like, oh god, Premier League teams are so overused, and so boring, and so on, but don't worry, like the League 1 side only lasted 25, 26 episodes, so, you know, the Premier League one won't be forever, you know, I'm sure we'll probably end up selling this squad in like another 20, 30 episodes and then going on to a new squad in a new division, so, you know, don't worry if you're not a big fan of Premier League sides, it won't be forever, it's not permanent, and, um, I just wanted to get another squad in because I can't keep using the uh, Brazilian slash skill squad, <laughs> skill squad all the time because, quite frankly, it's just not strong enough defensively. And that is one of the issues I've had, really, is is uh, is on defense, is conceding too many goals. So that is why I decided to try and build a, a decent sort of defense to this squad as well. It is going to be a 4-5-1, as you may be noticing by the, the players I'm picking up. But um, it is going to be a 4-5-1. And, um, yeah, I'm hoping for a bit stronger in terms of defense as well because it's just... I'm just I'm really not that good of a defender naturally and you know the league one side isn't really that good at defense either or at least I don't think so at least you know maybe I'm just not a good defender I mean I'm not but uh, I'm just trying not to make excuses but um, the league one side isn't really that great defensively I was going to start using my Russian Premier League squad again I did a squad builder on that if you want to check it out I'll try and remember to leave a link uh, in the description for you to watch if you haven't seen it yet but I was going to use my Russian Premier League squad again just build that because it's very very cheap it's only like 15k and um, it's got some really good players in there and players such as Trey Ore and McGeady and Danny and Basufa are absolutely fantastically overpowered, but uh, I decided that they don't really have a good uh, defence either, so I'd, I'd build in a division and I'd build in a league that does have a good defence, and I think the Premier League one does, to be honest. I picked up some really good players, Kabul, Koscielny, uh, Sanya, uh, the three defenders I have alongside Monreal, who is the only non-rare, and Begovic I've heard is a fantastic goalkeeper, so should be pretty decent. Of course, Sanjo will be playing CM, so actually not a CDM like his natural card, but a CM, so up, uh, up by one, but um, I'm sure of his high defensive work rate, he won't be bombing up the pitch too much, so, so uh, there you go, uh, those are the players I brought, and uh, if you didn't see them, i go ahead and show you the squad anyway, right here, and uh, it is going to be a 4-5-1, Begovic in goal, Monreal's at left back, and we have a centre-back partnership of uh, the Frenchman, uh, Kabul and Koscielny, uh, right back we have Sanya, so another Frenchman, and Ben Arthur, another Frenchman on the right-hand side, looking to, uh, looking to be a bit like Newcastle here, but uh, Sanjo, Coutinho, and Oscar are the uh, Brazilian uh, triangle, Asaidi's on the left wing, and Luke Remy is up top on his own, so it should be a really decent side, um, Cavani once again didn't sell, this time for 9.2k, couldn't sell for 9.2k, an 87 rated player, Jesus, he's such a good player as well, but... Uh, um, yeah, we decided to drop it to 8.2, I think it was, so down by 1, uh, okay, 8.6, and we'll hope for the best there, but um, yeah, it's so frustrating how he's not selling, and he's the highest rated player we've ever had during this series, but uh, yeah, we do go into our first game with the squad, I decided to go into the online single matches, I know I prefer to use the divisions um, for, those, for those coin bonuses, uh, depending on promotion, relegation, or holding, but uh, I decided to go into the online single matches, because I, I tend to play a little bit better when there's no kind of... Um, there's no reward, if you know what I mean, no reward or <coughs> whatever the opposite of uh, reward is. <clears throat> 
But um, I decided to go into the online single matches and see how we do. And uh, we came up against a really awesome uh, 442 Liga BBB, uh, BBVA side. And uh, the first chance, well, it should have been the first chance, came in the 17th minute there. Asaidi Ronaldo chops uh, past Sergio Ramos. I thought the referee was going to give a penalty there, but he didn't. So that was really, really disappointing because I thought that should have been a penalty. But in the 20th minute here, a good chance for us. Uh, ben Arthur gives it to Coutinho. Coutinho chips it over the top. Jordi Alba loses out to Ben Arthur here down the right-hand side. Real good chance for uh, Ben Arthur, the only survivor. Oh, sorry, one of, only, uh, one of only two survivors from the original League One side. And uh, he chips it over the top towards Loic Remy, and Remy scores. I've heard so many good reviews about Loic Remy, so I am going to keep using him as the striker if he does play pretty well for us in the opening few games. But uh, in the 37th minute here, this was really, really weird. The guy decided to quit in the 37th minute, and it was it's not like I was dominating either. I'd had two shots, one on target. He'd had three shots and one on target. Okay, I had more possession, but it was really weird that he quit so early on. I, I think that's one of the earliest quits I've had where I haven't been dominating ever. It was just, it was bizarre to see him quit so early on, but um, I don't really care to be honest. I got the win, and that's the most important thing. But uh, the second game, uh, second game we eventually came into here, and I was going to try and make it two wins out of two because whenever I build a new squad, I always want to get a few wins underway and under my belt and make sure I, you know, impress myself and make sure I've made the right choice with the squad I've built. But uh, I came against another four four two side, a BPL side here, just like mine, and some very very decent players in there. And Benteke and Welbeck are so good on this game. So there was a strike partnership was pretty worrying, and it was Welbeck that came through here. He rolled it through to Benteke, and uh, it's a good finish by Benteke. But I was I was really disappointed how easy my centre back partnership of uh, Kabul and Koscielny just split. They just split down the middle and it was really disappointing how simple it was for Benteke. Be uh, Begovic couldn't close him down and uh, sadly Benteke made it 1-0 to this guy. So 17 minutes in, we were behind but in 25th minute, a great chance to hit back here. Uh, Coutinho's on the ball. He chips it over the top to Loic Remy on the volley. Really, really decent save by Vaughan but uh, he then poked his volley, a uh, second volley wide at the post. So sadly, Remy couldn't make it. Two goals and two for him and it's still 1-0 to this guy. And in the 31st minute here, uh, Valencia rolls a great free ball to Danny Welbeck and again, it's it's really annoying, you know, Welbeck gets lucky here as the ball hits the post and it comes back to him. He does score and it makes it 2-1 to this guy, but uh, it's really annoying how defenders on, you know, on current gen as well as next gen, uh, next gen defenders on FIFA 14, they, they don't really hold their hold their mark in, in, in their position, if you know what I mean. They don't hold their positions very well, which means that they always seem to be parting through the middle and just losing track of the runner. It's really disappointing how the AI uh, marking on this game is so basically non-existent. You know, you have to do everything yourself and it's really really very really, really annoying because you simply can't you know you can't control all 11 players at the same time so you you do rely on the AI quite a lot on de uh, on defense but sadly it's it's annoying how the AI marking is so underpowered and it's it's really poor but uh, it was 2-0 to this guy we did win a penalty here uh, Loic Remy stood up against Michel Vorm and he ends up sending him the wrong way so Remy does get us back in the game 2-1 on the stroke of half time uh, a good chance for us to get back into the game I didn't want to lose uh, for the first time with this team so good to get back in the game but uh, straight from uh, the kickoff in the second half really Ben Arthur's onto the ball here, rolls it through to the goal scorer like Remy, he beats David Luiz uh, with the ball roll, turns past the Brazilian, plays it through to Ben Arthur, really good chance, but his shot is well saved by Vorm, and it is still 2-1 but this is just really poor, straight from um, Vorm's save here Ball comes to Fellaini. Fellaini chips it over the top to uh, Welbeck. And just look at this from Monreal. Like, how is he getting muscled out so easy? I mean, I know Welbeck's not exactly weak, and I know Monreal doesn't have much strength, but it's so easy for Welbeck to just push him off the ball and run forward. And that's, that's three defenders closing out Danny Welbeck, and he just easily just walks through them all and that was so annoying 3-1 to this guy in the 54th minute Ben Arthur took a shot but again Vorm made a really really good save so Vorm or Begovic not sure what goalkeeper I prefer but in this game it was looking like uh, I'd have to go back into the transfer market to look for a, uh, a Michel Vorm card because he was playing really well and uh, Kabul's header from the corner went wide and again in the 59th minute Monreal man I'm gonna have to look for a better left back the cross comes in again like what is Kabul doing there seriously that marking Kabul and Sanya both going for the same man it's a simple finish I mean I know I'm trying to you know try not to Playing the game too much, but let's be honest, the marking by the AI is so poor, and it's 4 1 to this guy. It's my fault, obviously, I blame myself, but uh, it's just annoying how bad the marking is by the AI. It's 4 1 to this guy, and uh, in injury time here, Coutinho comes through. Uh, nice fake shot to get around his man, then the body faint gets himself inside, and uh, David Luiz takes him down. So, some nice skill, he gets taken down by the Brazilian, and uh, it's a definite penalty. Not entirely sure why David Luiz is complaining because it was a terrible lunge in there, and it's uh, a good chance for Remy to make it two goals and uh, put them both in from the penalty 
spot. So it's Remy against Warren for the second time in the game. Both of them coming in stoppage time at the end of each half. How about that for coincidence? Or uh, some may say scripting. But uh, anyway, look at Remy scores. It was uh, uh, another uh, exactly the same penalty. It goes to the top right. Warren goes to his uh, to his right, and uh, that makes it four two. And we do lose the game. Sadly, it is uh, one win and one loss with his team. So not great. But uh, even so, it's um, it was you know. <laughs> I really didn't feel confident going into the side. I mean, into the game. Sorry, Benteke and Welbeck are two awesome, awesome strikers on the game. And sadly, I just couldn't cope with either. And uh, sadly, we did lose. But um, you know, I'm definitely going to have to go ahead and um, probably sell Monreal because the reason I picked up Monreal is because he's got high defensive work rate. And um, you know, I like that in my defenders. I always like them to have high defensive work rates to to make sure they're not just always bombing up the pitch. That's a common problem I have with fullbacks is when they've got a high attacking work rate, I never really get on with them. But uh, Monreal, he doesn't really seem like that work rate means anything to him really because I think it was the third goal. He was well out of position and. Um, <laughs> yeah, Monreal is a player that I definitely look to, uh, to look to replace. Um, Clichy is the obvious replacement. Everyone will look for someone like Clichy, but there's some good left backs in the Premiership. You know, you've got Cole, uh, Evra, obviously uh, Leighton Baines as well, uh, Gibbs as well. So some decent left backs that I'll have to have a look at and see which one I want. But Clichy is the obvious choice, really. He's got the most pace. I think, I'm pretty sure he does have the most paced and um, he is, I think, one of the highest rated players in uh, the left-back position but uh, anyway, we came against a 4 one 2 2 side here for the final game uh, 75 chemistry on this team, so not that much, I mean, usually you see teams uh, that are always above 90, but only 70 chemi uh, 75 chemistry, but uh, the first chance came for us, Asaidi came through with a verb spin his shot was deflected by the defender onto the top of the bar, so unfortunate and still 0-0, and uh, from the corner here, eventually we take the corner, I hate how long it takes for the, uh, the animations to stop but uh, from the corner, it's crossed in towards Yunus Kabul and Handanovic makes the save. So Handanovic again, he's like my nemesis on this series. Handanovic makes a good save and it's still 0-0. But in the 30 second minute, some nice passing here. Uh, ben Arthur releases Loic Remy down the centre here. Remy gets past the story, uh, shoots from just inside the area, I think it was, and he does beat Handanovic. Some nice passing and a really good finish by Loic Remy. And, uh, uh, you know, I read some really good reviews about Loic Remy on FUT head saying it was uh, so clinical and, um, yeah, I'm definitely liking him. But this is just the problem with the defence again. I mean, how many times does a Premier League defender do that? Because uh, Shelney goes up for the header and he just, like, the jump was so weak. It was ridiculous. And uh, it goes backwards and uh, eventually a shot from Cavani was saved and uh, the rebound was put in by Lucas, I think it was, on the right wing. So... The guy's back on level terms, so, so poor, yeah, unbelievable. It's my fault, obviously, but even so, it's 1-1 uh, here, and uh, Oscar does uh, give us the lead once again. It was a really, really good finish on his left foot there as he smashes the ball into the top corner. So Oscar makes it 2-1, and I was very, very happy uh, to be back in front in this game. And in the 45th minute here, Yunus Kabul wins the ball, gives it to Loic Remy, lovely little pass into Asaidi, and I was going to do some skill, but I thought, nah, screw it, I just want to finish it. I don't want to um, avoid getting a win in the third game. So uh, Asaidi finishes the ball into the bottom corner, and it's 3-1 to us and in the 50th minute here a lovely back heel by Asaidi finds Monreal lovely cross into the box and Loic Remy gets to the header and puts it past Handanovic at the near post so it's 4-1 to us here and uh, finally we're looking like we were going to be having a convincing win for the first time with this team and in the 52nd minute Remy finds uh, Sanjo Sanjo finds Oscar wonderful ball through to Remy, uh, Ben Arthur here some nice passing Ben Arthur goes through his shot's well saved and uh, sadly it's cleared Asaidi then gets the ball with the scoop turn then the roulette to get inside and again Handanovic makes a good save and the ball does go to him in the end so still 4-1 here but we were playing very well and in the 59th minute the guy gives the ball away it comes to Loic Remy here through the centre Remy stops finds Coutinho nice 1-2 between these two it's Loic Remy onto the ball ball roll and fake roulettes himself inside and he finishes uh, finesses, finishes the ball into the top corner so a great finish by Loic Remy and um, yeah I really am enjoying Loic Remy up front he seems so clinical really really good and it's 5-1 uh, to us and in the 62nd minute here Monreal's onto the ball down the left hand side finds Asai with the free ball gets past I'm um, not sure who it was, but a uh, nice little uh, uh, fake Rabona. Eventually, the ball comes to Oscar here. It was actually really, really lucky, this goal. I don't get much luck, but uh, that was a very, very lucky goal. He tried to skill past his man. In the end, it just went straight to Oscar, and Oscar fin uh, finished the ball past the goalkeeper. So that was quite a lucky goal there. We did get lucky, but um, we were now 6-1 up, and it was it was becoming a bit too easy for us, really. And uh, in the 77th minute here, Ben Arthur's onto the ball, finds Coutinho. Back to Hatton, Ben Arthur, down the right hand side. He's got all the space in the world. Fake Rabona, heel-to-heel flick. Fake Rabona again, Blanco hop, eventually work our way inside with the Berber spin and the Ronaldo chop, take aim with a finesse shot but it's just wide of the post so still 6-1, we were in cruise control though the guy's defence had kind of just fallen apart at this stage he wasn't really trying that hard on defence he was he was attacking quite a bit but uh, his defence just let him down in this game 
really. It was 6-1, and in the 85th minute, Oscar gets onto the ball down the left-hand side, gets past Di Seguilo with a nice uh, double step over, then the roulette past his man, uh, eventually gets himself into the box with the Ronaldo chop and finishes it into the far post. So Oscar makes it 7-1 here, so hat-tricks for both Oscar and Loic Remy. Very, very convincing win, and uh, the guy did actually manage to get a goal in extra time, but uh, or stoppage time, I should say, but I forgot to show it. So apologies for that, but it was a simple finish for Armero. But uh, as always, guys, a big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like, that's much appreciated, and it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of My Ultimate Team very soon.